How's it going guys? Jake here with Dude Ranch DIY. Today I figured I would do a quick little video on some basic chainsaw maintenance that I like to do every once in a while after every couple uh, decent uses of a chainsaw. I have a job coming up tomorrow where I'm going to be out uh, by myself actually chipping up a big pine like leader that broke out of a uh, friend's tree. Um, so I want everything to go as smoothly as possible. It's probably going to be raining which is kind of going to suck. Um, but that's why I want to just make sure that all my saws are in tip-top shape before I head out into the rain to get this uh, little job done. So um, first things first, I got my steel MS290 Farm Boss, which uh, if you watched the video way back when, I upgraded to a 390 short block kit and uh, did a couple other little muffler mods and stuff like that. Um, so I'm basically just going to be taking it apart, doing a quick little fix on something that's been a problem for quite some time, and just cleaning out the whole saw and doing some routine maintenance. So first things first here, I'm going to take off the bar cover. As you can see, one of my dogs is uh, loose and the screw just keeps coming out. I actually was lucky enough to find that screw, so I'm going to put it back in once we're all done cleaning out the saw. And uh, hopefully this blue thread locker will fix my issue. Um, but before we get to that, let me take off the chain cover. You can see how dirty it gets all up in there and all back in here. So uh, I'm just going to grab the vacuum quick and vacuum up that excess stuff. I'm going to take my bar off, take the chain off the bar, place the chain to the side. The chain is nice and sharp, um, but I'm going to take my air compressor here and uh, just give the bar a nice blowout. This groove can get pretty jam filled with, uh, you know, stuff, sawdust and debris and stuff. So it's always good. I always like to just take the air uh, compressor and blow it all out. Now that we blew out the bar, I'm going to check the bar for any burrs on it. And burrs is basically just uh, on the edge of where the chain rides here on this groove. This metal can get burred over, kind of mushroomed over. And the way you can tell, check for that is by taking your nail and just dragging down the bar. So my nail is kind of getting caught up right here. But you'll notice that it just pulls smoothly off these other sides. And you can almost kind of see it if you look down. I doubt you'll be able to see it on the camera. But you can also feel it too where it's smooth. So there are, there's burrs you can hear. Right it all up in here. So what I like to do is just take a flat file. This one's probably a little bit overkill. But a flat file and you want to go like this. And file it down at a very, very minimal angle. You don't want to go aggressive like this and start taking down that edge because the chain does ride in that groove. You just want to very minimally and then you can feel see how there's and here my nail no length no longer catches on that spot. So that's a quick and easy way to tell. I have another burr right there. So that's just a good thing to do um, because it can definitely affect the way that your saw cuts through in your cut. Those burrs can actually get caught up on the wood and uh, cause your chain or, or your whole saw to actually cut to the left or the right or cause your chain to bind up. So quick and easy thing to do there. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put my saw on full choke to close up the carburetor. That way no sawdust or anything gets in there. Pop off my air filter cover. And as you can see, my air filter is pretty dusty. So again, 
Just gonna take my air compressor and give that a quick blowout. So the air filter is in much better shape now. Um, now I'm just going to go ahead and blow off the entire rest of the saw as well as the chain cover, uh, keeping my choke on full choke. That way the carburetor stays nice and closed up so I don't get any gunk in there and uh, we'll be well on our way. So here we go. Okay, so now while I have the chain cover off, um, I'm going to fix this screw that holds this dog on. Now, these dogs, um, my secondary ones that actually mount onto the chain cover, have always been fine. They actually have little nuts that sink down, they're like countersunken into the plastic, and uh, it holds the nuts in place. However, this one is just goes right into the plastic forming of the saw and kind of goes into that little hole, if you can see right there, uh, as does this bottom one. Now, I've never had any problems with these ones at all, with the nuts on them. They stay nice and tight, um, no issues there. But this one screw in particular, as well as this one down here, always seem to give me some trouble. So hopefully today, I'm going to try and alleviate that by using some thread locker. Um, so let me grab the proper Torx bit and we will go ahead and tackle this. Okay, so it's a Torx T25 that I'm gonna be using here and I'm just gonna loosen and take this one out because this one has obviously been coming loose as well. Okay, so now that I have them both off, um, this lower screw is actually a different, it's more of like a machine thread, whereas this screw, I don't know if you could tell, it's more of a coarser thread. So I'm going to use the coarser one up top, that's where it came out of, and the more of machine thread down on the bottom. So I'm going to dab some blue thread blocker in there, in the hole, and hopefully that will help our issue here. Before I tighten that one all the way, I want to get my thread locker in this one. Now, as you can see, this one it just continues to spin here. So when I went to the hardware store just before filming this video, I actually went in hopes of finding a slightly larger diameter screw of the same type, um, since it is just being threaded into the plastic body of the saw here, I was hoping that I could find a slightly larger diameter um, to kind of create some new threads because as I suspected, this screw is just spinning in there. It's not tightening up whatsoever. Whereas this one will tighten down somewhat, but not like completely. Um, so, that's kind of the issue I've been running into. I might need to find a slightly larger diameter screw online somewhere. Um, I used the little chart at the hardware store and uh, they just didn't have anything that was like the next size bigger. They had a couple sizes bigger, but, but nothing that appropriate size. So we'll let that dry overnight before we use the saw and fire it up. Hopefully that'll at least help get it through this upcoming job that I have tomorrow. Um, but let's put the chain back on the bar and put the saw back together and that'll be it. So I always like to flip my bar each time I take the chain off to let it wear evenly. So this time it'll be on upside down. I 
I always like to leave the chain a little bit looser than you think because once you put on this bar cover, it always seems to tighten itself up. Okay, so before you have it too tight, you want to check your chain tension. Now, this chain tension is a bit too tight, so I'm going to loosen that up. I know there's a lot of varying opinions on this, but uh, people say you should be able to fit about a nickel in between your chain and the bar. So I'm gonna say that that's about good. And I'm gonna sock this down tight. Okay, so there we go, all back together. Let's start her up. guys that's gonna wrap up this video like I said just a quick down and dirty video on how I like to do a little bit of routine maintenance on my saws to keep them running in tip-top shape when I'm out on the job um, just some basic stuff you know uh, little tips that I've picked up over doing professional tree work for about 10 years now biggest trick that I've always learned throughout this whole process of cleaning out the saws is uh, to clean out the saw with the choke fully engaged that way you don't have to take off the carburetor and clean out all the gunk that you end up blowing in there so I hope you guys found this enjoyable and hopefully useful. Um, if you like these types of videos, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Any questions, comments, or feedback on uh, what I did here or how I could potentially fix that uh, dog issue with the screw, um, let me know in the comment section below. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.